Greetings viewers, I am Eric the Car Guy. You also know me as the ETCG1 when I post videos to this channel. And when I post videos to this channel, I do things like, hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, please enjoy this digital cake. Anyhow, today I thought I'd get a little nostalgic with you uh, because before this thing called the internet, uh, we had print media and that, you know, was, was huge. So car guys like myself, would have a subscription to any number of magazines. And I was going through some stuff recently and I found this box full of some of these memories and some of these magazines that, you know, helped inspire, uh, well, my love of automotive things and engines and machines and that type of thing. So let's take a trip down memory lane at today's ETCG1. The fact that this box is a DVD player should give away a lot. <laughs> and there, right up top. So my love of the Type R goes way, way back. And in fact, here is an issue of sport compact car with a Type R build. I think this was a DC sport build kind of thing. Hot Rod magazines. Uh, and these are, let's see, one was, yeah, big smoking ad in the start. Uh, June, June what, June what? Uh, 1996, here we go. And here we are, the height of technology. I rock and wrench. <laughs> this looks like a Foos drawing. Like all of this stuff, th this, is, this is what I did before pouring over the internet. Ah, there's Board Coddington. Ah, rest in peace, my friend. But yeah, he was the guy. I mean, and that's Chip Foose. <laughs> Holy cow, I was gonna say Chip Foose used to work for Boyd, and bam, there he is. So a very young Chip Foose here, mid 90s, um, something like that. Uh, camshaft tech, all that. And this one, another one. So yeah, I had a subscription to this. And like I said, this was, this was, I look forward to this showing up in my mailbox every month. I mean, this was, oh, hello. <laughs> Swimsuit spectacular from Hot Rod. It seems to be a, a kind of a theme with these covers. Similar photographer, I guess. Oh, and look, it's discounted at $2.65 plus tax. And look, it's not an LS, it's a small block Chevy from way back in the day. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely cool. In addition to being into cars, I was also into special effects makeup. So I had a subscription to Fangoria and then we got Popular Mechanics. We got Life Magazine. I'm not really sure why that's in there. Um, uh, that's pretty cool. looks like maybe a lightning or something like that. Uh, another one, uh, that's cool. Oh, and I love 59 Cadillacs. I absolutely love it. I think that's why I have this, just for this photograph. In fact, I think I've taken a similar photograph of my own. Wow, car and driver. That takes me back. So, and these are just some. I've gotten rid of a lot of these. I think these were just the ones that I kept because I don't know where my car craft ones are because long before this guy named David Freiberger um, was on this show called Roadkill, he was uh, an editor and a contributor to Carcraft Magazine. And I was idolizing him long before he ever went into video. And I, he taught me so much about performance modifications and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so he was, he was influential early on in my career. And I know like some, some people buy these things at swap meets and what have you. Um, I don't think these car and driver, yeah, these car and driver magazines were mine. I think it might've been a package deal where if you uh, got a subscription to Hot Rod, that you also got a subscription to like car and driver. Look at that. The concept of the Firebird, or the Thunderbird, I'm sorry. The concept of the Thunderbird. <laughs> when it was popular, way cool, right? What else have we got here? Ah, oh, that's kind of neat. Uh, like I said, Fangoria. There's a couple of these in here. Ah, what's this? Interesting. More Fangoria. More Fangoria. Ooh, Gorzone. <laughs> More Fangoria. Ooh, Mustang. And like I said, I had some car crafts around here somewhere. I, I don't know. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a Hot Rod magazine. Guitar magazine, there's a couple of those in here too. Welcome to the 90s, people. Um, I wish I could find some car craft ones. You know, because that, that was also part of it. But how cool is this? 
And I'm not going to get into the specifics of any of these, but wow. 3,000 horsepower. Woo. <laughs> uh, before the LS. Look, it's Chris Fix's car. <laughs> nice. Popular mechanics. Ha! Rip. Metal. Yeah, here you go. Here's, here's some metal for you. Some hair. Plenty of hair here. I don't know what these National Geographics are. Um, early on, those were like nudie books. Oh, I love the Camaros. What do you got here? 50 custom tips and tricks. Look at that. Steve Vai. Wow. This looks like a catalog. Yeah. Here's a catalog for Go Fast Parts. This probably goes back to when I built uh, my Galaxy 500 with the 429. That's probably where that stuff was coming from. Uh, more cool stuff. Another ASAP. What is that? Like I said, that was. This must have been where I was getting my parts from. Super Shop. Ooh, Acura Driver. This might have been dealer something. Oh, wow. This is like a, a dealer. I didn't even know I had this. Look, there's an NSX hiding in the background there. I don't know where the, exactly where this came from because I didn't... Yeah, September 97. Interesting. Top 10 hot rods of 95. Hot rod. What's hot in 96? So, yeah, I've been into this for a little bit. Oh, Power Festival 95. So pre-Power Tour, Power Festival. Because I think, I think the Power Tour started in the late 90s, if I'm not mistaken. It might have been like 97 or something like that. This is, yeah, there's another Sport Compact. So I, I split my interests. Uh, another Sport Compact. Wow. Wow, look at that Mazda. <laughs> Ooh, Toyota Supra. 710 horsepower. Put an LS in it and you got yourself 1,500 horsepower. Giant Killers, 271 horsepower Subaru Impreza. Wow. Motor Age Magazine from I don't know when. I wish I, I had a whole box of car craft. Honestly, I mean, the hot rod stuff is cool, but I was a car craft guy. I mean, hot rod had a lot of glitz and glamour stuff in it, but car craft was teaching you how to make them. And that's, that's what I was really into. They had lots of articles on, you know, building carburetors and all that kind of stuff. Wow. Back in the day, it was Boyd. Way cool. Gigabucks cars. <laughs> Nitrous. This one's classy looking. Look at that. that Dodge concept thing. Oh, hey, Fox body. Oh, this is a giant sport compact car issue. We're almost to the bottom of the box. Is that the Crusher Camaro? I wonder. I wonder if this is the Crusher Camaro. Could be, it looks like it. It's a 67. The Monte Carlo. Well, there we have it. Pile of magazines, trip down memory lane. Now by far my favorite hot rod magazine is February, 2019. The reason? Because the Fairmont's in it. Yeah, that's right. I was featured in Hot Rod Magazine with this Fairmont that's behind me. Take that haters. <laughs> but I, I mean, that's, that's kind of an obvious thing to say that, you know, I, this would be my favorite Hot Rod magazine, but certainly Hot Rod magazine and Car Craft magazine influenced me early on and made me into the gearhead that I am today. Uh, but obviously things are different now. We've, we've graduated from print media up to a more digital world. Uh, lots of videos. I mean, it's, it's more than just reading an article and things like that. Like I said, I used to read David Freiberger's articles about, you know, modifying carburetors and doing all these things on a cheap. Pretty much everything that he's doing now in, on video, he was doing in print back in the day. And he was also doing like off-road magazines. He, he was a contributor to a lot of things. He's been in the community for a while. But that said, I, you know, I wanted to try to follow in his footsteps and, and do that kind of stuff. And Hot Rod Magazine, Car Craft Magazine, and in some cases, Sport Compact Car, you saw those. Those were the things that, that piqued my interest, and, and that's what kept me going. And I looked forward to when these things would show up in my mailbox on a monthly basis. It was pretty awesome. So in a way, this is, is uh, to throw it back to you. I mean, are you old enough to remember print media? Do you still care about print media now? Um, have you ever even seen print media before? <laughs> but I, I'm curious as to you know, your take on this. And 
you know, the kind of things that introduce you into wanting to do this kind of thing. Because, you know, back at this time, these were older American cars were cheap and readily available. But now we have a lot more imports. And, you know, I think I caught right at the cusp of that. That's why I started getting into that sport compact car thing. Also working at the Acura dealer, I was exposed to that type of thing from time to time. And, you know, it, it colored my experiences. And as you can see behind me, behind the Fairmont, there's a Type R and a GSR. So I have love for that stuff too. Like I said, just a trip down memory lane. I, I hope it was entertaining for you. Um, I'll link other videos and stuff down in the description that might be related to this one. If you have automotive questions, I'll link Eric the Car Guy down in the description. Other than that, thank you so much for watching today. I look forward to your comments. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and I will see you next time.